if his teeth suddenly get sensitive out of nowhere, like cold water hits him and like your whole soul leaves your body, this video is for you. Because sensitivity can mean a lot of things and it's not always what you think. Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Fatima from CEPI, Center of Endo Perio and Implantology, your friendly and your favorite neighborhood periodontist. And today we're gonna talk about a question that's blowing up online. Why are my teeth suddenly sensitive? I mean, one day you're fine and the next day cold water hits your teeth and your whole soul temporarily leaves your body. Or you're eating something sweet and suddenly you make a face like someone just delivered bad news to you. So let's break it down real quick in a simple way because sensitivity can come from a lot of places and it's not always gum recession. First, let's talk about what sensitivity actually means. Sensitivity is actually your tooth's way of saying, hey, something's changed, so pay attention to me. So teeth have layers. On the outside, there's the hard enamel, then there's the softer dentin that's underneath, and then there's the nerve that's right at the center of it all. When that dentin gets exposed, it lights up like an alarm system, especially with cold, hot, sweet, and pressure. So let's go through the biggest reasons your teeth can suddenly start acting brand new. <laughs> Number one, gum recession. We talked about that in the last video. When the gums move down the tooth, the roots get exposed, and the root surface is super, super sensitive. It's basically like taking a thermal blanket off in the middle of the winter time. Suddenly all the cold air hits you all at once and that's what an exposed root feels like. But recession isn't the only cause, so let's keep going. Number two, teeth whitening. Listen, some of us whiten a little bit too much. I mean, I love a bright smile too, but bleaching really can temporarily irritate the nerve inside the tooth. Totally normal, totally reversible, but if you're whitening like every week, we might need to talk. Number three, clenching and grinding. Listen, this one can sneak up on a lot of folks. When you clench or grind, especially at night, you actually are flexing your teeth enough to create small notches at the gum line. They're called abfraction areas. And that can cause sensitivity, not because the gum moved, but because the enamel wore away. If you wake up in the morning and you've got like this jaw pain or these morning headaches, or even if you're stressed, that really may be the culprit. Number four, cavities you can't see. And listen, cavities don't always hurt. Sometimes the only symptom you get is to sensitivity to cold or sweets. That's when we go to check for decay. Number five, crack tooth syndrome. Very real, very common, especially in people who grind or chew ice. A crack tooth will give you sharp pain when you bite, relief when you release, and sensitivity that can come and go. And most cracks do not show up on x-rays. We diagnose them by symptoms and by testing. Number six, sinus pressure. This one actually surprises a lot of people. Your upper teeth live right underneath your sinus cavity. So when your sinuses are clogged, if they're infected or inflamed, the roots of your upper teeth can actually feel pressure. You'll swear it's a toothache, but your sinus is really the drama queen. Number seven, recent dental work. Fillings, crowns, bite adjustments. Your nerve may just need some recovery time totally normal to have sensitivity for about two to four weeks. Doesn't mean anything was done incorrectly. Number eight, enamel erosion. Acidic foods, sodas, sparkling waters, reflux, citrus candies, even vitamin C gummies, all of these dissolve enamel really slowly. But once that enamel thins out, sensitivity enters the chat, unannounced, dramatic, and persistent. Now let's talk about what sensitivity is usually not. Most people assume if my teeth are sensitive, I must have gum recession. Actually, a lot of sensitivity has nothing to do with the gums at all. And honestly, diagnosing yourself at home is almost impossible. You can't see microscopic cracks, you can't see small cavities, you can't see enamel erosion with the bathroom mirror and a cell phone flashlight. So what should you do if your teeth suddenly get sensitive? Here's your plan. Pay attention to the pattern. Like, is it one tooth? Is it all your teeth? Is it cold only? Is it biting pain? These clues actually help us diagnose, and believe me, we're gonna ask these questions. Use sensitivity toothpaste consistently for two weeks. Not once, not twice, consistently. Switch to a soft toothbrush and lighten up the pressure. Avoid acidic foods and drinks for a bit. Have your dentist check your bite. A high spot can actually instantly cause sensitivity. And if you grind, get evaluated for a night guard. If sensitivity lasts more than two to three weeks, get an exam. Could be recession, could be a crack, could be a cavity could be sinus pressure, but we won't know until we look. Now the final takeaway is this, sensitivity is actually common, but it's not random. If your tooth's giving you information and putting up a red flag with the right diagnosis, it's usually fixable. So don't ignore it, 
don't suffer through it and please don't trust TikTok recipes with garlic and cloves and anything that belongs in a crock pot. Like, share, and subscribe. If this video helped you understand your teeth a little bit better, helped you breathe a little bit easier, or saved you from another late night of scrolling and Googling TikTok remedies, hit like. If you know somebody who jumps every time they sip cold water, share this video with them. Be a blessing today. And if you want more real, relatable, and simple, honest dental talk, straight from a periodontist who keeps it all the way understandable, make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next one. See you next time.